Where did he go? I just had him. Baby, what's wrong? Daddy's gonna be here any minute and I missed place, Mr. Turtle. I don't know where he's at and I can't go without him. I'm so sorry, I should have told you, but I took Mr. Turtle so that I could spray my perfume on him for you like I always do. Sorry. Oh, you're alive. It's okay, Mama, but next time, yes, please tell me. He smells good, though. Well, I think your daddy's here. Okay. Hi, Daddy. Hi, baby girl. Leah. Hi. Baby girl, look what your daddy found here. My phone? Tracy gave it back to you? Baby girl, Tracy didn't take your phone. It was under your bed. I guess you accidentally knocked it under there. I didn't knock it under there. Tracy took it. Now, baby girl, I have had it up to here. Jack. No. Baby girl, you excuse your daddy and me for just a second, okay? Now, Leah, I don't know what you expect. I expect you to not traumatize our daughter. She's been through enough. You have some nerve. We both know that it's you planting all these lies into her head. Jack, I haven't done anything. Open your freaking eyes. I don't care that you hate me. If you wanna keep trying to make me the bad guy, fine, whatever. Whatever helps you sleep at night. But this visit is different. When you take baby girl home with you, you treat her right. You listen to her. She's hurting and her feelings are valid. If you do nothing else, just listen. Leah, I can't help but to be frustrated. When baby girl talks about Tracy the way that she does, it infuriates me because I see how Tracy treats her and Tracy is nothing but kind to her. And maybe she is kind to her, but it's only around you. There is more to this, Jack, and I'm not trying to dog on Tracy at all. The only reason I care who you choose to be with is because of baby girl because this person is going to be in baby girl's life. At the end of the day, you can thank whatever you want. That baby girl's lying, that I'm the one who's putting all of these stories in her head. All that I'm asking you to do is just open your eyes and pay closer attention to the person that you choose to be with. I know my Tracy. And I thought that I knew my Jack. Over 20 years, we were together, Jack. And I never, ever would have thought that you would cheat on me. Leah, our chapter is done. And believe it or not, regardless of what you choose to think, I want nothing more than for you to be in baby girl's life. Put her first. Baby girl, let's go. Bye, mommy. Bye, baby. You have so much fun with your daddy, okay? And you call me if you need anything at all, and I will come get you, okay? Baby girl, you know I love you, right? Yes, sir. And you love me, right? I love you, Mama, and Mr. Turtle more than anything. Baby, me, your Mama, and Tracy love you more than anything. Which is 
one of the main reasons why I need you two to get along. You two make me happier than anything on this earth. You and your mother need to understand that one day, me and Tracy are going to be husband and wife. And you two have to get along because you'll be living with each other. So there can't be none of this Tracy leaving every other weekend. That's just ridiculous. I can't expect her to always leave the house. You're going to marry her? You're still married to Mama. Well, I'm aware of that. But one day, the divorce is going to be finalized, and then me and Tracy can just focus on our relationship. I don't want you to marry her. Well, unfortunately, baby girl, that doesn't matter. It just really upsets me that you feel the way you do about Tracy when she's been so good to you. You used to love Tracy. Yeah, because she used to be really nice. And I loved her before I caught you cheating on Mama with her. She was Mama's friend too. You've got to get over your hatred for Tracy because she's not going anywhere. Well, I am. Take me back to Mama's, please. Baby girl. I'm sorry, all right? We won't talk about Tracy anymore, okay? Okay. Baby girl, I'm gonna go get the rest of your stuff out of the car. Why don't you go put Mr. Turtle in your bedroom? Yes, sir. You could use a nap, huh? What are you doing here? I live here. Duh. No, no. You're not supposed to be here. And you've been using all my stuff. No, my mom is not supposed to be here. Thanks for that, by the way. And Daddy Jack said that I can use your stuff because we're basically going to be sisters. No, you and me will never be sisters. And you can't call him Daddy Jack. He's my daddy, not yours. Well, Daddy Jack said that I can call him whatever I want to. So get over it. Hey, what's all this commotion I'm hearing? Why is she here? She's not supposed to be here. Here we go. Now, baby girl, it's Tracy that's not supposed to be here. Not Amy. Amy can be here. The judge said nothing about Amy having to leave. You two are going to have to get along. But the judge also said that you and me are supposed to have one-on-one -on -one time. Baby girl, I'm doing the best I can. Ew. You threw Mr. Turtle? I'm going to end you. Amy, you know how she feels about Mr. Turtle. Now why the heck would you throw him like that? It was an accident, Daddy Jack. He just kind of fell out of my hands. I can tell that I'm going to have my work cut out for me this weekend. Now, I'm going to go turn on the Food Network and see what the heck to cook for dinner. Would you two please get along? Tell her to get out of my room, please. I'll go if you really want me to. I just thought we could spend time with each other. I've honestly missed you. Baby girl, you two are basically sisters now. Y'all live together. Get along. She can stay in your room, learn to share. Me and Mr. Turtle see right through you. Maybe, but Daddy Jack doesn't. My mama has already ordered me new bedroom furniture for this room. So I've been spending more time in here trying to get an idea where I want everything to be placed. My daddy won't let you do that. That's funny, our 
Daddy paid for everything. And he's going to take me clothes shopping. Face it, baby girl. Me and my mama are going to do everything in our power to get rid of you. Get out of my room. You mean soon to be my room. Sure, I'll let you enjoy it. For now. I'm sorry she did that to you, Mr. Turtle. I think that Amy and Miss Tracy need a taste of their own medicine. What do you think? Young child, why is it that you wear your hat in such a manner? Because, silly, I'm just as tough and mean as Amy and Miss Tracy. I'll prove to them that I can be hardcore. <laughs> Ugh. Why is it so smoky in here? I caught the stove on fire. Then I tried to put it out, but I couldn't remember if you used sugar or flour. Baby girl. Never use sugar. It makes everything worse. You use sugar? That's super flammable. Mama always used baking soda and it works really good, but Mama rarely catches the stove on fire. Um, Daddy, the stove's still on fire. I don't know what's going on. It might be helpful if you turn the stove off. Thank you, baby girl. Well, how does pizza sound tonight? I love pizza. I don't want pizza. We can get Wendy's instead. All right, I guess we can do that. But she's here all the time. I'm only here every other weekend and I miss our pizza nights. You know what, baby girl, you're right. Amy, we're having pizza. What? Why would you put it on cow and chicken? I don't want to watch cow and chicken. Give me the remote. No. You already got your way with dinner, so I get to choose what we watch. You and your mama remind me constantly that I'm only here every other weekend. So while I'm here, I'm going to watch what I want. Hey, baby girl, the pizza's here. Do you care to get the door while I clean up my mess? Yes, sir. <laughs> I'll be taking this with me. <laughs> Hi. My sweet baby girl, I missed you so much. You can't be here. Hi, Mama. My poor babies must be starving. Looks like I got here just in time. Thank you, Tracy. You really saved my butt bringing the pizza here. Jack, it really wasn't that big of a deal. I would do anything for my family. You are not my family. Baby girl, I will bruise your behind. You are both breaking the rules. Jack, there's no need for that. Baby girl, nobody is breaking the rules, okay? I was just dropping off the pizza. That's all. That's what the delivery driver is for. The pizza place was understaffed and it would have taken them over an hour to deliver our pizza. So I asked Tracy to go get it for us instead. We could have picked it up ourselves. I think what you meant to say is thank you to Tracy. Jack, in her own time. Baby girl, I really hope that one day you understand that all these stories that your mommy is putting in your head are lies. And one day you'll realize just how much you mean to me and how much I love you. The only one who's lying is you. And if you keep messing with me, my mommy will kick your ass. Bedroom, now. I'm really trying, Jack, but I don't know what else to do. 
How are we going to be a family and come together when she hates me so much and all I do is treat her like my own? Baby girl is just going through a really hard time right now. We'll get through this. Just let me talk to her. Okay, go easy on her. Baby girl, we need to talk. I don't care how frustrated you get. You never speak to an adult like that. Do you understand? You expect too much from me. Let me ask you something. Do you want your daddy to be happy? Yes, sir. Then you need to be kind to Tracy. How can I be kind to someone that treats me so badly? She's not even supposed to be here. She was just dropping off the pizza. But honey, one day, things have got to go back to normal. Baby girl, daddy is really sad. Why are you sad? Because Tracy makes your daddy very happy. And when Tracy's not around, your daddy is really sad. But you have me. Do I not make you happy? Of course you do. But baby girl, sometimes we need more than one person in our life to make us whole. Mommy and Daddy make you happy, right? Yes, sir. And what about Mr. Turtle? Mr. Turtle makes me very happy. How would you feel if you couldn't see Mr. Turtle anymore? Heartbroken. But why? You have me and your mommy. But I need Mr. Turtle, too. Well, that's how your daddy feels. Heartbroken. It doesn't mean that I don't love you. It just means that I need more than just you in my life. <laughs> I understand. Mr. Turtle, I don't want my daddy to be sad. Even if that means I am. I don't know what she's doing. She might have just needed a minute. Baby girl, your pizza's getting cold. I'll be right there. I'm not enough for him, Mr. Turtle. And Mama wasn't either. I'll just never understand how someone as mean as Miss Tracy could make anyone happy. As long as he's happy, that's all that matters to me. Hi, baby girl. Are you feeling any better after your daddy talked to you? <laughs> well, that's a first. Nothing to say? Baby girl, seeing as though Tracy was kind enough to go and get us food, I think it's only fair that she eats with us. Okay. You're showing growth, baby girl. I'm proud of you. We are proud of you, baby girl. I can't eat this. What's wrong with it? What do you mean? There's bubbles. Oh, I see. You're talking about the little air bubbles in the cheese. Honey, it's fine. You can still eat it. No, it's not fine. I'm not eating this. Okay, you can just peel off the little air bubble if it bothers you that bad. If I did that, then I wouldn't have any cheese on that part of my pizza. Then just eat the cheese bubble. It doesn't taste any different. Yeah, just eat it. Why should I eat this? I 
didn't even want this. I wanted Wendy's. Well, honey, did you let Jack know what you wanted? Yes, mama, but he didn't care. All he cared about was getting baby girl what she wanted, not me. He doesn't treat me the same when you're not here. Is that so? Now, Tracy, hear me out. Oh, I think I've heard enough. My child didn't want pizza, and all you cared about was getting your child what she wanted. Tracy, it's not like that. Jack, that's exactly what it's like. I go out of my way to make sure that I don't make a difference between baby girl and Amy. And when I'm not around, you treat Amy different? Tracy, no, Amy, tell her the truth. Oh, so now my daughter is a liar. Amy, go put your shoes on. I'm taking you to Wendy's. Tracy, it's really not that big of a deal. Oh, I see. So you mistreating my child isn't that big of a deal. And he let baby girl watch whatever she wanted. She hogged the TV forever. What? No. I watched cow and chicken for maybe two minutes. Then somebody knocked at the door. Daddy knew nothing about it. I don't want to hear it. Amy, let's go. Tracy, it's not that serious. Tracy! Whoa. Yeah, all that over a bubble. Baby girl, women are complicated. Mama's not. Yeah, I know. Hey, how about you and me watch a movie like old times? Really? I'd love that. Can Mr. Turtle watch too? Well, of course. He's part of the family, silly. This is great. What should we watch? The Mummy? The, the Princess Bride. All dolls go to heaven! I'm just too excited. I'll go get Mr. Turtle. Okay, baby girl. Judging by the mummy, I think we should get a pet cat. Baby girl, you're allergic to cats. Yeah, I know, but this mummy's going around sucking all the flesh off of everybody. I mean, what's worse, getting some sneezes here and there or freaking dying? I really missed this, by the way. Me too, baby girl. Me too. All right, Amy, now go get ready for bed. Okay, but what about baby girl? I mean, where's baby girl and daddy Jack? I'm not sure where they're at. Jack? And what exactly is this? Well, hey, I was just getting up to get me and baby girl some drinks. We're watching the mummy if y'all want to join us. No, I don't want to join you. Baby girl, go get ready for bed now. But Daddy and I aren't done watching The Mummy. Did I ask if you all were done? I could care less. And I don't know how many times I have to tell you, stop back talking adults. Now get up and get out. You're hurting my arm. Daddy! I'm not hurting you. Stop being dramatic. Go. You did hurt me. Chrissy, wait a minute. Go to bed. Daddy! Tracy, just move out of my way. Look, honey, it's fine. She's fine. What the heck was that all about, Tracy? This is exactly what I'm talking about, Jack. She needs structure. What does structure have to do with any of this? We were watching a movie. This is our room. And kids have no business being in our room. This is the space where we come to be alone together. And you need to distance yourself from baby girl anyways. She depends on you too much. And that is one of the reasons why she acts up so much and why she's having a hard time adjusting with me. She doesn't want to share. She's used to having you all by herself. But she has to share now. I guess that makes sense. you 
you start the shower and I'll join you in just a little bit. Hello? Daddy? You're really testing my patience tonight. Your daddy is in the bathroom. Now go to bed. Mr. Turtle's in there. And I can't go to bed without Mr. Turtle. <sighs> Hold on. Here. Now that you have that disgusting thing, go to bed. Daddy? Oh no, you don't. You are no longer allowed in this room. Not a single step. But Daddy always tells me goodnight and tucks me in. Not tonight, he doesn't. He has plans with me. <coughs> Good night, Daddy. Hi, Mama. Hi, my baby. How was your day? Oh, it was really fun. Me and Daddy got pizza, and then we watched The Mummy. And now I'm getting ready for bed. Oh my goodness, so you got pizza and a movie? That sounds like a really special day, baby girl. Yes, ma'am. It was. Baby girl, are you okay? You sound a little sad. Yes, ma'am, I'm fine. I'm just tired, that's all. Well, then you better get to bed. You tell Mr. Turtle that I love and miss him so much, and you give him a kiss for me. But most importantly, Mama loves you more than anything, baby girl. And you have the sweetest dreams. Call me tomorrow, okay? Yes, ma'am. We love you too. Good night. Mr. Turtle, I feel really bad for not telling Mama the truth. But if I tell Mama the truth, then Daddy won't be happy anymore. But Mama will be happy thinking that I am. <laughs>